Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel and welcome to apparently what is going to be the last day on earth everybody. Tomorrow is going to be this solar eclipse that is happening. People are saying it's going to be the end of the world. Now, how many times in your lifetime have they said the end of the world is coming? I don't know anything about astrology. I don't know what's going on with this solar eclipse. I know that we're not really going to see anything here in Florida, but apparently millions of people are traveling to the locations of like the totality of the solar eclipse. Could not be me. Do not like being in large groups like that. So I am good sitting at home. If I see a shadow, that's great. But girl, I'm not really interested. Are y'all interested? do you think it's going to be the end of the world the first person that i want to talk about has to be gypsy rose and every time that i bring up gypsy rose on my channel there is going to be a handful of people down in the comment section saying like leave gypsy rose alone no and let me tell you why i'm not going to leave gypsy rose alone because she put out that bull statement saying she's leaving social media because she doesn't want the constant scrutiny she doesn't want to be like in the public eye and all that kind of why is it that Gypsy Rose, after letting everyone know that she left her husband that held her down while she was in prison, got with her ex, all of a sudden all these images just start popping up in the bayou. There's paparazzi down in the bayou to take pictures of Gypsy Rose. Really? All these publications are getting pictures of Gypsy Rose down in the bayou with this ex? Okay. Well, the other day it was announced that Gypsy Rose was undergoing plastic surgery. I guess that she's got tired of the meme of everybody comparing her to a possum, which people can say that's mean all you want, but that is a great comparison. Like, come the on. But she got a nose job and almost immediately upon coming out of surgery and waking up, guess what we get on the internet? <gasps> a picture of Gypsy Rose with the bandages on her face to show that she got a nose job. So does that sound like somebody that does not want to be on social media and does not want the public to talk about her? No. So we need to talk about James Charles real quick because he's getting called out over on TikTok. And no, it is not by another straight underage boy this time. I know, I'm shocked too. But this has to do with his makeup line painted, which honestly, until I saw this TikTok from James where he was comparing his beauty sponge to like this really large beauty blender one i had not heard anybody on tiktok talking about it in the longest time i have not seen people promoting it on tiktok shop i have not seen people doing reviews of it did it fall off that quickly so if you didn't know james charles came out with this massive like white sponge with his brand painted and he was saying that it's like the largest beauty sponge out there but in fact it is not and beauty blender came out with like a much larger one that i guess is used for like body makeup and james did a video where he was using the beauty blender one and somebody commented underneath it and said the painted sponges make my makeup so cakey to which james was like you're not gonna say that underneath my video bitch trying to clock my china sponge and he responded to her and he said a sponge will have no effect on the cakiness of your makeup in fact it should prevent it altogether make sure it's damp and you do bouncing motions now that person responded again and said no babe i've had sponges make my makeup look weird and when i use a normal one it looks completely fine so i'm not somebody who wears foundation or uses beauty sponges like that so can people in the comment section let me know can a sponge like make your makeup look really cakey is that really crazy for that person to say about james charles's sponge or do you think it could really be it so moving on from james let's talk about one of his friends real quick hrh collection i was actually really surprised when they did a collaboration for his makeup brand it was a little weird for me because of the kind of content that hrh collection does i know that she's not everybody's favorite cup of tea she says really offensive things and that just rubs people the wrong way she has said some things i'm gonna admit that i have laughed at but then a lot of the times it's just like really offensive and i don't get offended that much but i'm like Damn. But she's getting called out once again on TikTok, which, oh wait, before I get into that, actually, I saw that there is a whole channel over on TikTok that is literally dedicated because HRH Collection, literally, it's a jewelry brand. That's what she does. On top of making videos that really offend some people, well, they have figured out who her vendors allegedly are and they take what she is wearing in her videos or what new jewelry she is showing off that she's going to be selling and they are matching it up with like the Alibaba, the AliExpress or whatever these jewelry vendors are that are showing much lower prices and i know of course the name of the game whenever you're trying to sell something is to of course mark that thing up but some of these items are literally like two dollars and 99 cents and then she's turning around and selling it for like almost 200 dollars. that's crazy that is literally like jacqueline roxanne for me like how long is it going to take to turn any part of your body green but she's getting dragged on tiktok right now because she made a video and uploaded it to her youtube channel where she was talking about how she will kind of like pity follow people people that she finds like unfortunate looking or she just kind of like wants to make fun of their life i guess like talk about it with her friends i love to cringe follow people are you guys like that i cringe follow people <laughs> like i would say 90 percent of who i follow i cringe follow them like my entertainment it's like freak show it's fun okay it's really fun i I get so much entertainment out of, out of like watching people's lives um, because they share them and cr and like cringing. Okay, it's fun. And she went into detail about this new lady that she is following and she just completely like decimated, like dragged the hell out of this lady. Like literally scalped her. So there's this new girl I follow and she kind of lives near me. Like she lives in the same city. No, not city, same county. She lives in Orange County. And you guys will have no idea who she is. Okay, cause she's a no one. You can't go tattletale on me that I'm cringe following her. Okay, so she's like my age and okay, you guys are gonna be mad at me. You're gonna get mad at me and I don't care. Like this is real. And she is like the most plain Jane, not cute at all. Nothing about her 
is like anything a guy would want to touch. She's just so nothing, okay? She even like dresses like, like you know, coastal grandma vibe? Like a guy would want to fuck you, you fucking idiot, okay? I am so sick of retarded women. I could die. So this bitch is like lonely as shit. And she like, literally like her thing is to like go to Trader Joe's. Like that's like what she does. It's so weird. Like she literally is so pathetic. Okay, anyway. Dude, I cannot stand pathetic women who don't fix fix up. Fix the f up, you fucking loser. She, her hair is like a mess, and she does like outfit of the days and kind of like shows outfits. And I'm like, she wears like the worst. Shit. Like it's so cos c o s, but not even. Dude, you wish it was cos. It's not. It's like she'll wear like um, like I can't explain it. What are those like prairie floral dresses? like Doen, D-O-E-N, like that brand, which you only looks good if you're two pounds, okay? If you're not two pounds, don't even buy those dresses, okay? Just stop. So she tries to do that vibe. It's like country, like cottage chic with like a little bit of like coastal grandmother. Dude, if you're not hot as shit, if you're not a fucking 10 and a fucking 10 body, you have no business. I see the thing is like, I'm very mad at her. I want to reach out to her to help her to be like, what are you doing? There is no man that is ever gonna look at you. You are frumpy dumpy, you're old, okay? And your clock is done, bitch. You need to figure this out now, okay? She's also pretty lucky, like her, I don't wanna get into it because you're like, just one person may know and I just don't wanna start But basically like, she is not like destitute, okay? Like she can't, like her family does something and she's like involved, okay? So it's like, I'm not even being mean. Okay, and she, I don't know, that's not the point. I'm just trying to tell you guys. The other day she was talking about how she was going to get on, go back on the dating sites. And she's sitting there with this, like the worst hair ever. Like the most, ba like her face is like, fine. I'm not gonna make fun of features and like that, but she's not cute at all. She puts no effort into it. She's dressing like the way she does and she's gonna go on a dating site. Do you see what I mean? Do you see the delusion? She is going to go on a dating site. She's either gonna not be approached on a dating site or have horrible dates because she's getting like used, okay? And then she's gonna blame the man because of her choices in not upping her game, okay? Not being self-aware that she is not pretty and she should do something. She should get better clothes, okay? Lose a little bit of weight, yes. Yes, I did. I lost weight to find a man. Yes, I did. You guys know. You guys know how fat I was fat because I was miserable, okay? So I knew. I See, I'm very self-aware. That's why I'm allowed to talk. Anyway, my point is this. If you're ugly, what the f are you doing getting on a f dating site? I mean, maybe so another ugly guy can approach you fine. But the thing is, this bitch is not going to go for some ugly dude. I just like, no, she's not. Like, she is so delusional and stupid that I know she's not. That's what pisses me off. So now I'm like really intrigued by this person because now she's going back on dating sites. Ugly as and delusional as And now it's gonna be the man's fault. See what I mean? It's gonna be all the men's fault. There's no good guys out there. Yeah. That's what, that's what women do. Women do that. They blame the man because they're ugly and undesirable and old and it's the man's fault. <laughs> it's like, I want to reach out to her so badly anonymously. I need an anonymous Instagram page or whatever. I, I need something anonymous because I could be doing so much good. I could be like Superman in the night. You know what I mean? Like saving people. I, if I had like an anonymous thing and just like reach out to people and told them the truth, they'd be so offended. They would never, it would, it would never believe it. That's the thing. But they need to be told. Like, why doesn't her mom tell her something? Like, she seems to be very close to her mom. And like, I'm sure her mom would love for her to like get married, right? So why doesn't her mom tell her or like help her? Okay, maybe she just want to tell her, but like help her. Like, obviously there's a problem with your daughter. If she's almost 40 and still single okay period so as i was scrolling tiktok the other day i came across this video of this lady actually responding to hrh collection she was saying that she was receiving a lot of new engagement and new followers over on her tiktok account and she couldn't figure out why and then somebody commented down below and was like hey i think hrh collection just literally dragged the hell out of you in one of her videos i don't know how people were watching hrh collection and like figured out exactly who this lady was to go and comment that maybe they went and looked at who exactly she was following and just like girl maybe you're the one that looks homely well this lady made a response video to hrh collection and i have to say it was actually handled very well you could tell that she was like upset and actually hurt by the hrh collection video but she did not respond out of anger she did not like scream at hrh collection i'm gonna play the video clip for you guys right here heart is my chest my my heart is beating so fast right now well i woke up this morning to like a bunch of new followers not like an insane amount but just a handful more than made sense all day i was like is one of my videos kind of going taking off 
No, it doesn't seem like it. Everything seemed like random and like different types of people. And a few people commented on my videos and were like, girl, you're beautiful. <laughs> And I was like, that's really sweet. Okay, great, la di da. And then I went to my Instagram and there's like a bunch of new followers there. What happened is somebody who is on TikTok and YouTube, I guess, posted like a real video <laughs> of me, of talking about what I'm assuming is me. It felt really specific. Uh, I could be wrong. And I hope that it is about me because if it's about somebody else and they can't really take it in stride maybe as well as I can, then I, I hope that no one takes this. I don't want anyone else to, to hear what this woman just said about me, um, what I think is about me. But she basically, she's kind of known. Here's the thing. I've seen her videos before. I didn't realize she lived in Orange County too, but I guess she does. I've seen her videos. I think her vibe is kind of like, uh, like speaking in hyperbole, although maybe she means every single word she says and that's... Maybe, I just don't know, but it's very like intense and like uh, exclamatory and like this girl's a fat bitch and like she's ugly or whatever, like really intense uh, things that I wouldn't necessarily say about anybody else, but I feel like that's her shtick. So maybe that's just her thing. Yeah, she was talking about me posting the other day about getting back on the apps um, and she was saying how ugly I am and how horribly I dress. Uh, and that I need to lose weight and uh, that I'm gonna go on the apps and not get any attention. And if I do, the dates are gonna be bad and then I'm gonna blame the guys um, and not take any responsibility. So I just wanna say, if you're new here, welcome. Um, I hang out a lot in my apartment alone. I'm moving in a few weeks to a new place I'm really excited about. I dress in clothes that I really like and I work in construction. So a lot of times, uh, or every day, Monday through Friday, I wear clothes that wouldn't necessarily be, be like my first choice, but I have to wear them for work because they have to be practical. She mentioned she hates my hair and I'm gonna, girl, I kind of agree. It's not great right now. I really love my curly hair. So maybe the curly hair is not for you. I really like it, but I do think the length is a little rough, especially considering I go to a workout every morning at 6 a.m. and then I have to go to work at 7.30 and I have like five minutes to get ready. And I used to really care about that and like that I looked like crap going to work every day to be totally honest. And then I realized, oh, I work with like all 65 year old men and none of them care what I look like. And frankly, I actually don't want them to notice what I look like. Um, and that's not against the men if you if that's how you're gonna take it. But um, I just would rather keep my professional life professional. Regarding dating apps, I don't know. I'm gonna tag her so she can see this because she said that she was gonna DM me privately and I'll just save her the trouble. Dating apps are hell. I don't know if, if you're single or not, um, if you're watching this or the girl who posted the video, but it sucks to date. I'm not blaming the men. I just think that maybe that's the universal truth, although maybe it's not. And if you have any tips on how to make dating suck less, let me know. I'd love to hear them. But the truth is I would never really blame a guy that a date sucks unless they did something like aggressive or mean. But if it's just boring or they're not interested in me, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'll probably blame myself. So you can um, scratch that off your list of reasons you would hate me um, because I would definitely blame myself there. Losing weight, okay, let's talk about that. I've been trying to lose weight for about a year and a half. I have PCOS and some really effed up hormones. And um, I go to the doctor every week, literally, to talk about this. I go to a nutritionist and I pay her a lot of money and it's not really working. So so again, if you have any tips that my doctor wouldn't have had for me, um, please let me know because you think I'm fat. I wouldn't use the word fat, but I do think I could uh, afford to lose a few pounds. I think that covers everything. But again, welcome. If you're new here, I go to Trader Joe's. I post my outfits kind of like ironically, but also like not because that's what I actually wear. Let me just tell you tonight, I'm wearing a men's Target sweatshirt. Um, if that offends you, shoot, I'm so sorry. Um, but I think that's everything. Glad I got your attention. And yeah, I mean, if you wanna keep spewing hate towards me, go off. I just would, I would ask that you don't point it in the direction of anyone else because I'm not gonna take this personally at all, but I think other people might, so. Um, have a great night. Speaking of someone being rude, do you guys remember the other day when I was telling you about that owner of Elegant Fashions in downtown LA, the one that like will not even allow you to shop in the store unless you agree to be on their TikTok live? Well, I came across another clip after I posted my video the other day of her actually having kind of like a confrontation with a customer. The customer did not know that the dress was like $1,200 and she did not expect to spend that much money when she went into that store. So she was saying, I don't have $1,200 to spend. And she was almost downright shaming her inside of that store. Like, oh honey, that dress that you have on is like, all crystals and it is very very expensive the only thing that we sell in the store is very very expensive twelve hundred dollars you're shopping in the wrong place girlfriend <laughs> well we can't afford twelve hundred dollars okay well then you gotta 
I have a little, a little motivational speech. I cannot go to a Mercedes dealer and ask for a Hyundai price. They're gonna laugh at me. They'll be like, get out of here. Everything that we have here is affordable. That's it's more so like, like I like the slit and like the. Those are rhinestone dresses. Well, well, he doesn't really have to. She just wants the style. She likes the style of the slit, mm -hmm. and she likes the the top. Okay, I'm gonna help you. Part. I'm gonna help you take off the dress, browse around our block okay, to see your options. Thing. But if you're the horse stores, you might find something in, in okay. the block. Not here though, okay. because you're just wasting your time, girlfriend. Okay. Those are couture dresses. I don't sell couture. She's not looking at brand. We're I know, but the style. design is a couture design. I was like, damn, you gotta shame her in front of everyone on this damn live stream because after the people leave, she will literally go over to the camera and talk shit about them. El dress que la señora, ella, tú se lo dices, te lo pidió. Because I was gonna check her out and she was like, oh no, that's too much for the dress. And I'm like, well, that's what we have. You take a picture of it so you could see what they cost. Yeah, she's like, okay. Oh, she was like, oh no, but I came from Seattle and I already spent 1500 bucks. Like I cannot pay for the dress. I'm like, that's why you take a picture yeah. so you can see what it costs. Yeah. No, but she was on the phone like, can you bring this one? What the? Maybe she was one of those people that come here with bad intentions. Yeah. No, I'm like, that's the reason why you take a picture of the dress. She's like, oh no, I already spent so much on coming here. And I'm like, well, how is that my fault? It's so crazy to me how all these people who have literally been accused of predatory behavior or grooming for that matter, they really like to stick together in California. It's like they have this really tight knit friend group. They're like very like thick as thieves, you know? What Tantra Call is getting called out right now. He's actually getting called out for a few things. The other day he decided that he was gonna go into his comment section and defend Colleen Ballinger. Like he was really writing for Colleen Ballinger and honestly like you guys can keep trying but just like fetch it's not going to happen literally wasting your time well another reason that he is actually getting called out is you guys remember the guy that was going back and forth with Michaela Nagara over his tanning product that she said she was going to review she literally was like in messages with him saying that she was going to review it and then just kind of like ghosted him well he is back because he made a video calling out Todrick Hall because he actually used to work for like some A-list celebrity he was their assistant and the other day Todrick Hall uploaded a video where he was talking about how his family's house burned down and he needed to raise ten thousand dollars well Tajik Hall reached his goal over on the GoFundMe but do you know what happened literally just like a day or two later Tajik Hall threw a very lavish party that a lot of people were invited to including Colleen Ballinger Tajik Hall is asking fans for money because he says his family's house has burned down in the GoFundMe he says typically I would be the person to step up to the plate to help but as a performer who's just recovering from the pandemic and the union strike myself there's only so much I can do now this was just three days ago he set a goal to raise ten thousand dollars which he has already hit. But last night in Los Angeles, he threw a birthday party. There was a petting zoo, horses to take photos on, a mechanical bull, at least three drag performers, a tattoo artist, multiple photo stations. This is the one that you stand on and it spins around you to make a video. Another photo booth, Cakes like this in Los Angeles don't cost less than 500. And that's not even including any of the booze. There were a lot of people there. But what made me cringe the most was this video one of his girlfriends posted. Tadric, you guys, you guys, you guys, what is his life? What? If you don't know, I used to be a celebrity assistant for like a actual celebrity, like an A-list celebrity. There's no way if I'm being very conservative with my math, there's no way that party cost less than $15,000. I bet it was at least $20,000. I just cannot imagine coming on the internet, telling people that my family's house burnt down, asking them for money, saying that I couldn't afford it, and then throwing a fifteen dollars to $20,000 party. And actually, he's not wearing $10,000 worth of Cartier. He's wearing $24,000 worth of Cartier. I know we're all empaths, but there's like legit con men out here and you guys need to be careful where you're spending your money. I honestly do not know why Tajik Hall would think that he should be the person that actually comes online to try to defend Colleen Ballinger and try to discredit Adam McIntyre. And honestly, some people could argue from the shit that I've seen online about Tajik Hall, the accusations that have been made. He's kind of like worse than Colleen. And that is why it is so easy for him to come online and actually defend her because he's like, hey, I see a lot of myself in you, girl. Let's stick together. So let's talk about JoJo Siwa real quick because I know a lot of us cannot escape any kind of JoJo content when we log onto social media. I have literally seen so many clips of JoJo Siwa over the past 48 hours. Like, I did not ask for this. I truly did not. Which is making this rebrand even more f annoying because she's literally getting force-fed to everyone. It's like, if you have to try this f hard to get people interested in your music, girl, 
move on. Well, the reason that JoJo is getting talked about, yes, Colleen Ballinger was at her party as well. She actually uploaded a vlog where she was talking about going to JoJo's party as well as going to Todrick's party. One thing that Colleen Ballinger has been called out before like numerous times, especially after everything happened with Adam McIntyre, was her inappropriate relationship with JoJo Siwa. We have all seen the clips of when JoJo was not 18 yet and she was doing a video with Colleen Ballinger and the jokes just got really inappropriate. I'm not going to put the clip in here gross but she gave a little bit of a backstory as to how they met she said she did an event with some of the dance mom's kids but jojo and another one of the girls was not included in that so the mothers reached out to her and said like hey can you come meet our kids they would love to meet you was on dance moms and then the girls on dance moms said that they liked her scenes so he invited them to his house when i was there once so i met the dance moms girls but jojo and nia were excluded somehow from that get together but one of their moms reached out to me and was like hey they got excluded from meeting you how can we set up so that we can all meet so i went out to dinner with nia and her mom Holly and Jojo and her mom Jess it was the Cheesecake Factory and I kept in touch with Jojo's mom and with Jojo and over the years she became like family to my family she would just come over whenever I had like family functions like holidays or birthday parties and I just always thought it was so sweet that this young girl who was a rising star in Hollywood she could be in Hollywood doing whatever hanging out with anyone but she always wanted to go to my little family functions at my house and eat fresh chocolate chip cookies and play mafia except in our version of mafia we didn't like talking about people people getting like unalived so we changed it to there were magicians and they would make people disappear I'm just trying to say I'm very proud of her I'm very excited that I get to go and support her team. I do not care what explanation she gives for that if the parent was okay with it or not the fact that she was a grown-ass adult hanging out with like a little teenager it's weird dude it's honestly just gross and another person that has been called out numerous times for predatory behavior had to upload a video and apologize to his victims and say that he was desperate and I finally finally came to a conclusion it's sucks and it is ridiculously embarrassing to admit this but i think i have to and that is that i'm desperate james charles was also at jojo siwa's party i just know that one day there is going to be a james charles and jojo collaboration for some kind of song it is oh my god oh my god i feel bad for all of us that like scroll over on tiktok when that happens and actually speaking of jojo and james she did an interview on somebody's podcast the other day because james charles uploaded a tiktok that went viral where he was dancing to jojo siwa's song and he was doing the dance from her like video or just the dance that she did on her tiktok the dance is awful i you know what whenever you see someone dancing on tiktok just turn your volume on your phone all the way down and really take in for that moment how cringe a lot of tiktok dances actually are but when he uploaded his video of course people were making fun of this dance move that she was doing it's like girl you were on dance moms what is happening where is abby lee so in this interview jojo said that james actually reached out to her before he uploaded his tiktok so she was not upset with it because that is one of her influencer friends that is like kind of poking fun at her she said since he reached out that was okay but tana manga now who uploaded her own video about jojo siwa where she was talking about the karma song actually asked the question of do you think that jojo siwa has ever popped a perk i was a bad girl i'm doing bad things you think she's ever taken like a perk 30 and like cussed somebody out? And that was the one that really offended Jojo Siwa. She said she was so upset about it. She reached out to Tana and she like sent her LOL with a little video clip. And in Tana fashion, she just said like, ha ha ha, LOL. The internet is coming it's brutal at you. Yeah, no, they are. James Charles is talking some shit. James texted me. He texted you? No, he texted me. After text he mocked you? So he texted me and he was like, do you care if I post this? Oh, okay. And he was like, do you care if I make a dance video to Karma? And I was like, please do. I was like, go in, like, wow. poke fun, get, get the deal. Good for him for calling, I guess, yeah. and asking for permission. Who is the other one? Tana Mojo. Here's the thing about Tana. I've loved Tana since I was 13, 12. Where I'm confused with Tana is I have been not friends with her, but we have been close, like, homies i did her podcast and it was like we were talking about having like a fun night you know what i mean like for her to go do all that because she she was mocking you know what i mean so i actually texted her i just sent her her own video and i said lol and she just went ha 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 you just said lol let me see you didn't say what the f be i think it's just jojo being like give me my, I, yeah. like i saw this like yeah oh yeah it's no, I hear you. oh i said i said but her being Ha, 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 ha. I said, oh. first question, no. Second question, yes. Ha, 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 ha. She responded, ha, 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 But the thing is, is if, Tana mojo. if I saw Tana tomorrow, like, Tana, like, Jojo, what's up? 
Yeah. But then to do that, I'm like, wait, that's why I appreciate that James reached out. I wish he would have done something that didn't require him to call you up and ask for permission. Would have landed better as a friend if he would have just, you know, supported you. Used his massive platform to like give you a shout out or do something creative or funny and not just mock you. I mean, I think that a lot of people that have heard this song from Jojo Siwa and seen this like rebrand of her, I think a lot of people have been wondering like, girl, what are these lyrics? What is this? Because you had this squeaky clean ass image up until like, what, a few months ago? All of a sudden she thinks that it's like some edgy like fucking rebrand. I saw this clip where she said that she wants to invent a new genre of music and it's called gay pop. Gay pop. And then there's that video clip of her where she's talking to somebody on the carpet where she's wearing that like kiss looking inspired outfit where she has like literally the same. It was literally like if you took a Jojo Siwa outfit from back in the day with all like the crystals and like rhinestones all over her that were like pinks and blues and all those colors. It's literally the same sh just in black and silver and clear. Black, silver, and clear. Wow. I really hope that JoJo does not ever try to say one day that she does not like fame and she does not want people talking about her because this girl drives like two cars now that have her face plastered all over it. Anyways, with all that said, everyone, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. Please leave me whatever emoji you want to down below and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.